way to my third job of the day. Um, I did a insurance claim. AC wasn't cooling low on R22. They just wanted to charge it. And a leaking Hayward home heater. Uh, At the light, turn left onto Volcana Avenue. I'm on my way now to a job that Mike, Mikey Pipes was just at uh, earlier in the morning. And since I had a querying in my schedule, he said, you want to do a condenser swap? So heading to Long Beach to the Sea of Condensers building, where I just recently replaced two condensers. And I'll be replacing another condenser for somebody who owns one of the condominiums, condos. So hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so I'm up here at all these different units for all the different uh, condos. I'm up on the roof, which is like, I guess, technically the ninth level. Let's see, we got the water right there. Plate with the wing wings advertisement. But, show you the unit that I'm swapping out. Which is in just immaculate condition. See the condenser fan motor. They got the new invisible one. Ripped right off the. Just rusted right out. And it just really does not look good in there. But uh, they went with the whole unit swap, so that's what we're doing. So. I'll uh, get to work on disconnecting everything, pumping it down, and wait for Peter to get here with the new one. Took off this cover panel so I could disconnect my electric and look at all that nice, amazing corrosion. That's what the salt water does to them. But let's see, yeah, I want to see. This is going to end up being, yep. Soldered in an elbow. Looks like I will have to do the same. Or brazed in. Got my gauges hooked up and we do have a lot of pressure, so I'm gonna get the recovery machine, recovery tank, and start pumping it down. Got a wine cooler in the elevator room. Weird decorations. Okay, got my you just hooked up, purged out my lines. I'm gonna open these up fully now, so that way I can have good flow. And make sure I open up this tank. And it's already gonna start filling with refrigerant because this is a fairly new tank. I used it to recover like maybe half a pound earlier today. Start it up, and we'll see how long it takes to pump down. Hopefully, fairly quickly. Maybe I could get this out of here before Peter gets here. Peter got here, and back up to the roof. Okay, so we were going off on high pressure. I brought a bucket of water. Peter's spinning the tank to cool it down, and we're pumping down pretty quick now. Uh, I already sanded. I'm gonna make my cuts. That way I'm not getting debris into the copper when I sand it after I cut it. So once this is done, we'll cut this out, get it out of here and bring the new one up. Got the rest of the stuff in the unit. And back up to the roof we go. Two blue hoses and the scale. Um, unit and it's a ream. I got the filter dryer in my back pocket. This should go fairly smoothly. Let's see, it's 12 25 ish. So, we have all the time in the world. Okay, got 
got our old unit out. Got to cut these screws out so we can get our new unit in flush. But uh, there's our old unit, and here's the new one. So we'll lift that up and get it in there. I pulled the Schrader and I put some heat block on the valve because that's what people were commenting to do, even though this is very low temperature since it's stable right eight solder. I did this connection already because there was a very big gap and I wanted to make sure I could fill it. Now I'm going to do the other four. I don't have any soft copper, so this is what I had to do. Okay, I got my last, uh, oh, I missed this outer, but I'll do that one. Actually, here, Peter, you want to record that one? I couldn't record those because the condenser behind us is too loud, but it finally shut off. So I'll get this one on camera. Schrader hose removed, and I put some heat block onto the valve, like the comments asked. Um, this is wet rag by Refrigeration Technologies that they sent to us, uh, really to Mike, 
uh, kind of like a sponsor. But uh, I got a 45 here, a 90 here, and a 45 in on the 3 8s, and I think that looks pretty good. And there's a 45 fitting, a 90, a street 90, because this is 3 quarter uh, refrigeration and this is 7 8 refrigeration. But I'm going to pressurize now and hopefully we can get to vacuuming. Okay, so we got the field piece vacuum set up. Uh, I recently changed the oil today already, so True Blue hoses and the Blue Vac Plus Pro Micron gauge. I got my gas ballast in the open position. Turning it on. And we'll open up. And we'll see how low we can actually get it. And it's probably gonna be a while because of how long the run is. Okay, it's only been a few seconds, so I'm already getting ready to close the gas ballast once we hit around 1500 microns. Uh, that way it has an easier time pulling the vacuum down and we'll start cleaning up while the vacuum finishes. Okay, so I just called the customer. They're at the apartment. I asked them if they wouldn't mind turning the unit on and cooling for us since we're up on the roof. So we got it on and cooling. And it's spinning, it's way faster than that, but the camera can't catch it with the frame rate. And uh, I'm gonna start adding refrigerant. I took out almost 20 pounds from that system. So we'll see how much we need to add. I, I can't imagine it being 20 pounds. But we'll start slow. I have the scale zeroed out. Start it around a pound and we'll just monitor it, make sure we get good sub cooling and super heat. Okay, so we are at exactly 75 degrees on our outdoor temperature with the 36 coil. That brings us over to nine degrees of subcooling. So, we're letting it settle right now, but my total charge that I've added is four pounds. And I may leave it at that. It's a little bit bouncy, so we'll let it settle for a while and then see where it lands. You can see we're moving around a good amount, but we're staying at pretty much eight to uh, 11. But uh, here's the line set in the end. Um, it is on foam on whatever, insulators, noise insulators, vibration pads, with some uh, straps on all four corners just to keep it in place. Uh, it is a ream. But I think overall it came out pretty good. Let's see. The bends, I think the bends look very nice. And I did move the disconnect over slightly to give me the available room that I needed. Well, overall, I think it turned out pretty good. Still around that same pressure, but still very bouncy. Okay, so that's it, the finished product. It's cool. It's just turning heat nicely. Put a Pipe Doctor sticker on it. And 505, just for future reference if anybody ever needs to work on them. But uh, overall, I think it came out really nice. Finished up, uh, everything's working properly, it's cooling well, 16 degree Delta T. Uh, spoke with the customer, he was super, super happy we were able to get this done today. And uh, now I'm heading home. Uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it, 